This is milling the base. Uh, you have to mill it a little bit on each side every time, uh, otherwise you're not going to get it flat. And don't clamp it too hard, otherwise uh, you'll bend it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get it really flat. Here is just doing some miscellaneous work, uh, grinding some flash off, uh, tapping the front of the uh, crankcase, uh, more tapping. That's my really good pants. Uh, that's how I was working on it. Okay, you see the crosshead barrel turning the flywheel. A lot of material comes out the flywheel. Uh, that thing was really a bulky thing to begin with. Alright, see how far I got here. Oh, uh, nothing much to be said. Cutting out some uh, rough stock to, uh, you know, just get some pieces that I needed for the bearings. Yeah, that's some flat stock that I made. And then that's after I clamped them together and made the main bearings. Ah, uh, that's part of the uh, valve stem seal on the back of the head. Not a very good picture, but anyway. Uh, that's the cross head. That's where I started it just before I parted it off. Uh, it's a big chunk of metal that I used to make the eccentrics. And I just sawed it in and that's how I started. I don't know, oh this is part of the basson plate, yeah, uh, and that's a kind of a pain in the ass to do. Got to kind of wrap it around real carefully. This is part of the valve eccentric, um, yeah. Supposed to braze that together but I made it out of one piece. That's the Euler eccentric, kind of a cute little project. This is the governor which is a pain in the ass. Believe me, big time. Uh, I did a lot of it on the dividing head. Nothing much to be said here. I put a dummy on the other side so I'd get the barrel because you have to uh, bore the uh, one side of it uh, to fit the barrel, the crosshead barrel. This is the governor when it was done. There's more work in this governor than there is in some other small projects. This governor, it drive you nuts. But it turned out pretty good. I, I, I like it. I'm happy with it. This is a crankcase uh, boarded on the uh, milling machine. I don't know how far I was along here. Uh, I set up a test boring bar to bore the uh, hole for the uh, eccentric oiler. Yeah, 13 months. Uh, I kept going on this thing. What else can be said here? Nothing much. I don't know. That's part of the steam valve. Uh, another part of the steam valve on the parent material. That's part of the steam valve. Kind of took pictures as the chunks developed into a part. Uh, that's part of the liftoff cam. Uh, I don't know what that is, but it's obviously part of it. Oh, nothing much to be said. This is part of the spring. This is the spring. I laid it out on a piece of tempered metal. That's the, uh, that's a knockoff cam. Uh, a cute little project. Another little, that goes underneath the dash pots, lock nut. Oh, what else can be said here? Nothing much, just basic machining. Oh, this was a cute project. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the valve. The valve will drive you crazy. But, you know, hey, you just keep fooling around with it until you get it done. Yeah, the bonnet. Oh, the bonnet is cute to make. Yeah, that's really a fun little thing to do. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I remember all that. Yeah, sure. Uh-huh. That's threaded. You'll drive yourself crazy with that. Oh, the hand wheel. That's even more fun. Just watch how I did this one. I did it on the uh, on a rotary table. I, I just carved it out and then uh, put it back on the lathe and then uh, hand sanded it. A lot of work on that little, little hand wheel. It'll drive you crazy. The whole thing will drive you crazy. But anyway, if you're if you're crazy enough to do this, then well, you're crazy. 
Uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. You can see. Oh, this is drilling the uh, main block for the uh, val rotary valves. That's my lathe. Uh, it's a uh, it's a lathe. Yes, and then I have a, I have a Grizzly uh, nine by forty nine milling machine. Love that machine. Great machine. And uh, it's also a grizzly, yeah. Uh, this is some more of the uh, finishing up of the uh, valves. The belt, you got to find a place to make the belt. I can, you call me, I'll tell you where to get the belt. They'll make the belt up for you. This is milling the valve. By the way, you're going to have a, a 1 16th inch uh, end, end miller, end cutter. And, well, you order four, because you'll break three. And this is toward the end. Kind of getting it done. I spent the twenty dollars on cigarettes a long time ago. Uh, started to paint it. And this is Tommy Otis, a great world's greatest pinstriper. And Tommy came in and pinstriped it for me. I can't claim credit for that. I made a lot of dies to bend the uh, steam valve uh, uh, <clears throat> arms. It's the easy way to do it. This kind of when it was done. Actually, this is when it was done. And, uh, yeah, it turned out pretty nice. You like the granite countertops on my kitchen? All right, all right, okay. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty project. And, uh, yeah, Tommy got a little crazy with his pinstriping, but that's okay. He's a good guy. He's not cheap, but he does nice work. Now, those are the Oilers, you can see there. And more of the governor, the wonderful governor. Believe me, you, you'll drive yourself crazy on the governor. The nut on the uh, the, uh, uh, the wrist plate there is missing. I don't know why it's not there, but anyway. Oh, outboard bearing. More pictures. I do nice work, huh? Yeah. If you, you're crazy enough to do this thing, well, good luck. And, uh, okay, I think we're going to have a video coming up here pretty soon about it running. Okay. Yeah, coming up about, right about now. Okay, here you see it running. It actually runs. See that? Look. And uh, what you've got seeing now is um, the engine running. It's running on air pressure, not steam. And uh, here we go. We're going to look over to the top now. You see the double eccentrics, one for the... Uh, uh, steam and one for the exhaust and the drip oiler uh, which drips down into the uh, little pockets there and uh, lubricates the eccentrics. Now we move on uh, up to the uh, rocker arms and we keep going. Here we go. Now we're showing the governor. I think we're going to go up to the governor now. And here we go to the governor. Up, yeah, up, up. Come on, up. All right, there's the governor. Mr. Pain in the ass. That governor drove me crazy. And it doesn't take much to drive me crazy. But if you're in this hobby, you're already a nut. Anyway, here you go. So now we're going over to the valves. You can see the knockoff cam. And you can see how the knockoff cam works. And you can see how the dash pot does all its really neat little things. And we're going to go down and see the dash pot here. Come on, go down, 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 down. Go down, there you go, there's the dash pot. Alright, we're going over to the other dash pot. You can see the, uh, oh, <clears throat> you can see the uh, exhaust eccentric. And you can see the... The trip cams, all that really neat stuff. It's really a wonderful project to, to watch once it's done. Sometimes I wonder, I look at this thing and I think, God, did I really do that? I go, well, yeah, I guess I did. Because I own it, and it's in my living room. And I take it out. People always ask me, what do you do with these things when they're done? And I just say, well, I show them to people like you. That's the valve. That valve will drive you crazy. It's a lot of work. Look at those, look at those really, really bitchin' uh, trips. Yep, 
Make those cams out of hardened material. I used drill rods, by the way, and hardened it. Yeah, oh boy. This was a lot of work. It's a lot of fun to watch it, watch it go, though. And uh, I, I think you're getting a kick out of the video. Of course, you're probably getting more of a kick out of me talking. Uh, what else can be said about this? Oh, we're going around the other side. We're looking at the eccentrics again. They, they don't, they're kind of mesmerizing, actually. And then we'll go down and look. Uh, those are the drip, drip lubricators. Uh, for the eccentrics. It's really an interesting way that they did that. And then of course there's the crank. The connecting rod was a real pain in the butt because it's tapered and it's just a long thing to make. It took a long time. Of course there's the crosshead barrel and the crosshead and uh, it's really a fantastic thing to watch. Uh, I worked at the Marquette Cement Mill back in the 60s and they had some big Corliss's back there uh, in the power plant. Uh, that's from back in 1963. Yeah, I was a young dumb kid then. You can see the back side of the valve, more of the valve, more of the governor. And uh, what else we got going here? Nothing much. I'm going to speed this thing up. I'm going to stop the video and then I'm going to uh, run it faster because you know there's the old term on this uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard balls out well when the governor is running full tilt boogie you can see the balls are out and that's where the term balls out comes from so the governor is now running full speed I speeded it up and you can see the cam action that you see the crosshead flying across there and uh, it, it just the cutoff and that's where Corliss invention was the steam cutoff, an economy of steam. And you can see how the, the valves run so much faster now. Hey, listen, if you got any questions, give me a call. 818-340-7959. Have a good day, modelers.